Hey everyone, this is Mahi Mahi42 again with my relatively new web show, The Geek Next Door. Today, I'll be showing you how to use the open source image editing software GIMP and how to recolor an eye to make it look spooky. Okay, first, we need a picture of an eye. So, open up your web browser. And if you watch my other video, I hope it's Google Chrome. Okay, just wait for it to load. Alright, we're at Wikipedia, which is my homepage, but not really what we're looking for. So, I'll just type in I. Now, unless you've changed it or not using Google Chrome, um, the default browser, search browser is Google. So, if you just need to um, search something on Google or another web browser, just go to Google and type in I. Then go to Images. Okay. Let's find. But this looks like a good eye. And see full size image. And actually, we're not want to do that because it already has something done to it. So we're going to go back and try to find another one. Okay, this looks like a good one. See full size image. Yep, that'll do. Okay, just save image as. Okay, i.jpg is okay. And click save. And now we're done with our web browser. So now what you want to do is fire up the GIMP. In case you didn't know, for some reason, the GIMP stands for GUN Image Manipulation Program. Now the GUN is basically just the open source li licensing. Yeah, sorry. That um, allows open source things to stay free and open source. And if you've seen my background which is a rose for Valentine's Day, I made this in the GIMP. And if you want the um, link for the tutorial, I'm sure I can find it again and link it to you, or I could just tell you how to do it. Okay, we just want to file. You know, I'm going to try and do something new. Okay, we have our eye on our desktop and just drag it to the GIMP and it's open. Okay, here we go. Now, we have our eye, but we want to make it, you know, cooler, because no one, you know, blue-green eyes, they're alright, but they're not cool enough. So what you want to do is just duplicate the layer, just in case you screw up. And also, you can click this little double picture down here. You want to go to the airbrush, and now choose the color you want your new eye to be. Just for this video, I'm going to make it a red eye. And click OK. Now, before you do anything, you want to go to this tab, for the airbrush tab, click Mode, and instead of Normal, change it to Color, not Value, Color. Basically, what this does, it basically just alters the colors that, the, that is our airbrush to be a, more of a red tint. Okay, just keep all the um, regular defaults. Actually, I'm going to make the brush a little bigger. Yeah, that's good. And just start airbrushing. Now, as you can see, it's basically making everything that's not black to a red color. So you can just feel free to just go over the uh, pupil. Ah. And that already stopped my work. That's why you just want to periodically just let go of your mouse button. Like that. So that you don't, if you make a mistake, you don't have to just completely start over like I just had to. Okay, just keep doing this. Let go. Let's try this side. Now, when you're recoloring eyes you have to be sort of careful because you need to like gently outline where it's sort of blending into the white of the eye but you have to be careful that you don't do it too much that it looks obviously fake well granted no one has these these red eyes but we're trying to make it look as realistic as possible like we actually took this from a camera okay almost done yeah, let's zoom out a little bit. 
Yeah, that looks pretty good. Now with the airbrush and color, you can also change skin color, you know, hair color, whatever you want. You have to make sure that the mode is color, so that it'll keep all the tints, and all the you know shades and highlights, but it will change just the default color. Now, let me show you how to do that on skin. If you want to change to white to make sort of a vampiric skin, and just keep go over it. Now, as you can see, it's keeping all the shadows and all the highlights of the skin. It's just changing the color that they are. So it's making it sort of a, you know, more stony, vampiric looking flesh. And you know what, since there's a lot of skin, I'm just going to bump the brush up. Yes, yeah, this is a man's brush. And go over. You have to be careful, sort of, unless you want to sort of tone down the, the hair color or the eyelash color, um, that you don't hit them. But this is just a tutorial, it's no big deal, and I'm probably just going to throw this out after I'm done. Now you can actually go over the white of the eye, because, um, you know, with vampires, they don't have blood in their veins anymore, so sort of, you know, tones it down a little bit. Just be careful that you don't go over the red too much, or you're pretty much destroying what you just did. Actually, if you let's see, it sort of darkens the red up a little bit, so that looks a lot cooler. All right, as you can see, we've just sort of toned down the skin color to a, a you know matte gray, and made the eyes a nice red color. <laughs> well, actually, what you can also use this technique for is if you want to make something um, on the skin or the or the eye color to really stand out, what you can do is change the eye color. So whatever you want it to be, and then just tone the skin down like this, so that you, when you look at it, you automatically focus on the iris, which is this neato red color, and that's how it'll look. And that's you know how you can do how you can change eye color, skin color, hair color, whatever in GIMP. So this has been Mahi Mahi 42 with the Geek Next Door. I hope you enjoyed. Don't be afraid to subscribe, message me, comment, whatever. You know, I love when people, you know, message me. They comment me. They, they ask, they request to be my friend. It, it's great. Um, so yeah. Um, speaking of other people, um, if you will actually, I can send you a template for a YouTube, um, channel. If you would be willing to make me a cooler channel, you would. I would be forever grateful. And if you also had a idea for another geek next door, it would be my pleasure to do that video in honor of you. So if you ha if you have that ability, or and you have GIMP or Photoshop, let me know. I will message you, and I'll fact message a couple people who ask. And the one I like the best, I will message them and tell them that they won this little sort of contest. So um, yeah, message me, comment, whatever. And let me know if you can do that, and I'll be eternally grateful. And I will make a video in honor of you. So, again, this has been the Geek Next Door, Mahi Mahi 42. Thank you for watching.